at the beginning, it, it's just at rest. It does nothing, right? If I compress it a little bit, not too bad. But the further I try to compress it, the more energy it takes to go. Because the force is changing. Does that make sense? So when we say it's changing, that means we're getting into what's the force from here to here, plus what's the force from here to here, plus what, which means we're getting into an integral. Right? We're adding up an infinite number of little pieces with a, a d, d. <laughs> you know what I mean, a dx. So I want to talk about something called Hooke's Law. We went over volumes of uh, stuff. All right, hold on. Force equals k times x. There's a ton of these. I used to do a full lecture where um, you had like a chain that was hanging, and as you pull the chain up, the amount of energy is less and less because there's less chain to pull up, right? Mm. So that's a variable as well. Then we would say, what if there was a bucket at the bottom? Plus the chain, so the bucket would remain constant mm. as far as the force goes, but the chain would be changing. Then we said, what if we punched a hole in the bucket uh. at a certain rate? And so that mass was changing. The mass of the bucket didn't change, but the amount of water changed. You see what I mean? It just keeps building, right? But we're not going to get into that. We're just going to stick with the small for now. That's funny. Oh, and, and let me talk about K for a second. K is a constant, and uh, we're going to be fishing for that here in just a second. The only constant when we're talking about a spring that's involved is the spring itself. The spring is made of a certain type of material, and you, you've dealt with different types of springs. Some springs are very easy to stretch, right? Other springs, it takes a lot of energy to stretch. They're already pretty stretched out. Okay? Um, I got pictured like a slinky. Okay? A slinky is very easy to stretch out, right? Of course, the further out you go, again, the harder it gets, which is where the variable force comes in. Whereas, so in my, in my gun at home, when I take it apart, there's a spring in there. That spring is very rigid. It takes a lot of energy to compress it at all. Okay? Because when that gun goes off and that thing recoils, I don't want it to be flimsy. I want it to be able to resist it a little bit the, the proper way as it does that. So different springs have different materials, have different um, uh, amounts of energy that's required to compress them or to stretch them. Five newtons to compress it, 35 centimeters. Okay. Notice I'm mixing the units a little. How many centimeters make up a meter? Oh god, 20 and 100. 100, very good. Centimeters not so big, right? About 2.2 to make up one inch. So we're going to use Hooke's Law here in just a second, but I'd like to talk about what work looks like when we don't have a constant force, when we have a variable force like we do with the spring. Calculus, we go nuts with work integrals, also known as line integrals. An integral, you have no idea. What kind of stuff would this be used for? 
What's that? What kind of stuff, practically speaking, would this be energy, useful? Just ha what kind of energy is, is involved in moving stuff? Put satellites in, in space. Mm. Okay, because in that case, you're fighting against a, a variable <coughs> force because gravity is changing actually. Mm. All right. So we're going to integrate our force. Now here's our dx. That's the um, I'm sorry. That's our d here. Our distance changing infinitesimally because the force is different depending where we are. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to notice that I'm going to take the force is equal to x times uh, k times x. Pardon me. And I need that constant, that k, that coefficient. Well, I have some information. That's going to help me figure out k. I thought it was an S. <laughs> My wife came in and subbed for me yesterday for an hour, and so the rest of the class, when I took it over, they were just like, right there, you're <laughs> So I got 100 over 7. Now that's my coefficient. That has a bunch of units involved. I'm not going to get into that right now. it another 20 centimeters. So we are already starting at 35 centimeters. In other words, I'm compressing it 35 centimeters. I don't care how much energy was spent there. I want to know how much energy is spent if I want to compress that another 20 centimeters. So I'm going from 0.35 to what? 0.55. Knock ourselves out. Do it. Steve, do it. Here in the US, they do still use foot pounds. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a story in a minute. This is system, I see it. <laughs> and now, because my wife, everything in my house is metric the scale, <laughs> the temperature, everything. Really? It's weird when she says, wow, it's, it's so hot outside, it's 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, roughly around 1.3. You guys got uh, 1.3 joules. Not bad. Now we don't know what that means at this point, that's okay. <laughs> what is it? Are those exams? What? What's on the table? Oh yeah, those are the exams. He didn't hand them back in. Everybody went up together. Of course, everything needs to be in the, uh, the standard metric, which would be uh, meters. This is a different question. We're just going to finish copying it down. And I want to clarify. In this case, I'm saying it takes so much energy, or so much force, pardon me, 75 newtons to stretch it 20 millimeters. Now that's not a lot, right? That's actually quite small. This is a pretty rigid spring here. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying I want to stretch it an additional 50 millimeters. I'm saying if I put it back at neutral and then compress it to 50, uh, a total of 50 millimeters, what's the total? So what's my bottom boundary on the integral going to be? It's going to be from zero in this case. Do you understand the difference? One of them was we compressed it, now we want to compress it more. That was this one. This one says when we compress it this far, it takes this much force. So I want to know, starting from neutral, if I compress it even further, how much overall work is, is needed. Are you stretching or are you compressing? The stretching part. It's the same, yeah. So stretching part. Okay? I'm going to give you a minute. See if you can piece this together. Be careful with the units. That's a hundred. Clearly, I'm not a Spanish. <laughs> Work the problem. Work it. Yeah. 